a little bit loose raise under the gun. Now we flop top pair. We're in kind of a weird spot. Of course, we're going to check. That's um actually one of the main things we've been doing a lot. One of the adjustments we've been making is just being a little less front heavy with our aggression. Doing more checking with middle strength hands when we're very deep. Because of the bet size, I almost want to check shove on it. Do you think that's getting too greedy? Nah. Yes. Yes. That feels good because it was, you know, there definitely our hands that beat us. So check shoving for value feels a little bit weird. But at the same time, that bet size suggests that they were, they were, they had a good hand, but not the nuts. Lowish boards, you can choose, you know, larger sizes. Um, this is a, sort of a locked in straight, so it's not like a pot size bet. When there's like multiple straight draws, you often have um, an even bigger bet. I don't know, I'm just kind of happy to. No, 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 I'll, I'll call. And then there are a lot of shitty turns. I mean, but. Oh! He had me on the flop and I sucked out on the river. Oh wait, my dude, my dude left and uh, the game is less good than it was. Damn. This might be ambitious. He had a lot of backdoors though. And I'm gonna want to bet like tens here. They can have traps for sure. Something like eights or sevens they could have maybe. Ace queen. I'm gonna keep betting though. All the pairs fold. I'm just a little bit, I'm, I'm like very concerned about him just having aces here. Watch aces. Oh, if he has sixes though, that means he has sevens and eights. So I don't really mind that play. Um, I did kind of feel like I might be bluffing my money away, but then I was like, eh, this is a battle for the final table. It's strange this one. Maybe I should just check. God, I hate this. Like it's like like I'm supposed to call, but then like what do I do? Like just call a five turn. Or nine diamonds, I mean, but I, I did think that there was a very high chance of them slowing down. I don't think so. Oh man, he just destroyed me! I got destroyed. Shit. So I think I'm just checking here. Um, I actually think we have a check raise, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, with no spade in hand. Probably makes a fine check back. We're gonna continue the aggression for one more street and just see if we can get anything to fold. And I think now on the river we can just give up. I did have a 10 for the uh, straight, straight. I think this run out is just not very good. <laughs> Whatever he was limping with on the cutoff, probably it's getting there or just in general, not great. Well, he's very short, so I think I'm just jamming. Wait, is that worse or better to just raise it? Because he is short, I'm jamming all flops anyways. I think it's the latter. I think it's better to raise because he's basically- Like, I'm gonna get it in against that guy anyways. Well. Uh... Why is this guy jamming with 7-6 though? No, I, I don't need cash out, thank you. But the real question is, why is this guy jamming 7-6 off? I mean, I got extremely lucky there, but... Uh, well that guy is getting noted. I mean, it looked like he just wanted to leave, but he does not need to punt off $50 to leave the table. He can leave whenever he wants. I think... I'm just gonna call, hope I hit a set, etc. Gonna make this 9 on the small blind. I hit a set. Um... I think that this absolutely merits a raise. Multi-way. Like, this is insanely multi- this is four ways multi-way. Charge like stuff, just charge stuff. No free equi- no free cards. And now I think I want to bet like 20 to jam all rivers because then his SBR is basically going to be one. Maybe a little bigger, 60. 
Okay, a little bigger was probably fine. Maybe 25 was better. Uh, uh, no. I mean, I think now I have a gem. Alright, well, that worked. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Seemed like she disappeared without a trace. Blue Fang, Blue Fang. Mm. Should we try and make a queen fold? Alright. Oh man, good call, great call. Go to this one, we're all in. In good shape. Oh dear. Spock to soon. Dead. Um. Now I give over. Should have blocked turn, shouldn't I? All in in the 22. We've been called. Good flop. If he turn. Great river. Hello. Na 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 na. No, 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 no. They click it back. Alright. Somehow they bet half pot. Uh, okay. Come on, we just lost to nut flush draws, which is very sad. A big part of the reason I check raised this hand is because nut flush draws are in bother against us. Big three bet flop. Remember that? Remember when they three bet flop? No pad, no draw. I remember. I remember when they did that. Although I can change that, and I will. I was thinking the only cards I really don't want to see are an 8 or a 6. Everything else is, is meh, you know? If I want to have to have, like, weaker peels, I have to peel this and then whatever. Alright. Aces win? Huh. Look at that. I might use the check raise because a lot of my better jacks raise pre. Okay. Yeah. I think like King Jack and Queen Jack raise pre more than limp. That's not a good card for us. Oh. Okay then. Still could have the best hand. Now we are more likely to have the best hand, but no guarantees. We do have the best hand, so I'll have to fade three outs. We did it. We did it. Small little bounty, but those chips are worth a lot. Alright, good luck us. King Jack versus King Nine for the win. Need to fade Queen or an eight. Got it. GG, sir. 28, 80, 60. That's a winning day. Alright, I chose this. I was going to say, that's shitty when I get called, but it's a good flop for us. Uh, I think most of my range actually just wants to check this board. So even though I flop a set here, like, I guess I could bet two bigs. But I just want to give him a chance to bluff, really. Because I think on this texture, he's going to expect I do not have enough board coverage to actually continue. That's a bad turn for us. I mean, in terms of our actual hand strength. But it won't change much for me in terms of how I'm going to proceed. Yeah, I don't love it, but I think when I get here with this sort of hand, it's near top of my range, unless I play eights like this, so. Ah, frustrating, man. I mean, to even get flatted there in that spot's pretty fucking gross, but. All right. I mean, if I call, they jam, they jam over top. Maybe we just gamble. And if they all fold, we play in position. Probably okay. Probably okay. Just flop another set, unbelievable. All right, 100%. The run good is just, it just knows no bounds today. Let's just keep, keep riding the wave, man. I don't know, this is, this is sick. Can confirm the hot compress. I often have eye infections and the hot compress helps unplug the blocked pores. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll leave says she was pretty adamant about the no ice. Well, okay, that's, I mean, that's good to know. I've been throwing, I mean, it's not my eye. It's around my eye, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing you guys. I'm gonna try a different approach now. 
Getting good advice from the chat now. A lot going on. Please be good. Ace Deuce is good. And like, I'm repping something pretty junky or something pretty good, so... Either way, it's better to call and, and not... Not run into my premiums, because you're, you're cooked. And then if I have something like 10-5 offsuit, like you definitely want to call in position with that with that sort of uh, domination. Get check raised here, top set. They barrel pretty big. Okay. Can't think of any hands in my range that want to shove, so. Wonder if they have just the ace uh, or the 3-4. 9-7. Alright. Here we go. Four ways to the flop. Maybe the queen's good. Sevens is good. Maybe combine cooking and drinking streams. Can't go wrong. It's a good combo. It's a good combo. Is party lagging for anyone else? Yeah, people have been reporting lag. So it's it's definitely happening. Oddly enough, I'm not lagging at all, so maybe it's a server thing. I don't... Maybe the connection's different where I live. I don't know, but... But yeah, we've had uh, quite a few reports of it, so... I'm gonna kind of bluff my hand here. I'm gonna go small turn and shove the river. It's kind of my tentative plan here. I think their get-in range cooks me here, so I'm, I don't really care if I bet fold, which maybe I should feel differently about it. They actually find check raise here, which is pretty sick. <laughs> they gave me a price. I mean, I could be drawing dead here. I mean, they might just have it. I could be drawing dead here. They check! Oh my god. What are they check raising on the turn? I don't know. They could have aces, could have king, queen. Could have been bluffing jack 10. I don't know. I'm going to put the rest in. This is, I don't know. This is a we really weird hand. If I might have butchered this somewhere, but... Listen, I, I, I'm on the river now. I have trips. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. No way. I'm gonna go fold. I mean, it's painful. It is deeply painful. So is running into aces. Kind of unavoidable. Actually, sorry. Entirely unavoidable. Three-handed here. GG, guys. 2.6k. I mean... We were never really the big stack or had a lot of chips, so we were actually very lucky to catch as many ladders as we did and win as much money as we did. Would have been nice to get one step further, but that's a really good cash based on where we were sitting, so...